This is a ground war team death match using the 1887 Akimbo shotguns. You know, a lot of people are going to see this and say, oh, I'm going to rate this one star because you're using bitch ass shotguns. It's take no skill. And, you know, this is not about skill. This is about a lot of people want to see a match using these. And I wasn't going to use them against any team, random people, because, you know, it's not hard to use. It's not hard to do. And the main reason I chose these guys is because previous games, several of them had been doing the javelin glitch. This game, one of them's doing the javelin glitch, and also they ran around with commando, knocking people like freaking crazy. So you add in the fact that these guys camp, use javelin glitch, and then commando knife. You know, I really don't feel bad doing this one. So the person I went with were marathon lightweight. I went with commando myself, even though I really we're never used lead. this, as you can tell, because I don't even have a commando pro. But you know, I'm just using it to use it. Just in case, I wanted to do it back to these guys, what they were doing to me. And there was the javelin glitch, you can see. I got blown all the shit from that faggot. But I went with the riot shield not really to cover my front, but I, I wanted something to cover my back because, you know, I don't have any long range weapon here. Well, if you don't consider this long range weapon, you consider I just shot that guy from 50 yards away with a shotgun with no stopping power and killed him. So that shows you how cheap these shotguns are. You could really use this class in a bad way. I mean, this this could be abused because if you used if you used uh, flashbangs and you used your right shield to cover your front and in the marathon and the lightweight to run up on people, you know, you could use that right shield to get close enough to blast on these shotguns every time. You know, it could be a really dirty class if you wanted to abuse it. I'll show you this guy right here. He gets absolutely screwed up. Thing blows him about 50 feet back. Got a Predator missile pretty easy though. I mean that was fairly fast considering using shotguns. But right here, I had a lot of targets and I could have got a lot more kills with it. But I seen the guy with the javelin on his back, so I went for him first. You know, that's who I was after. You know, these guys really had pissed me off the previous game. Like I said before, I, I really don't use the, the right shield like I could in this match. I mean, you could... If you held that thing out, right here it saves my ass. I pull it out right there. But, you know, every time somebody was firing on you, you could just pull this right shield out. And, you know, you can creep up close enough to, to pull the shotguns out and just blast them every time if you wanted to, you know. So it's, it's a dirty class, truthfully. Heads up. Enemy UAV but I'm not going to lie and say I don't use these shotguns on some of my classics, because I really do. I use them a lot, especially on my sniper, but, you know, I don't run around constantly with them out, you know. I, I use them when I have to. And the reason I use them is because, you know, they freaking work. You know, they kill people. And this game is not about fair, and, you know, I don't really give a shit anymore about fair or whatever the hell, because nobody in this damn game plays fair, so I'll use whatever the hell kills people, you know. And right here, all the way up to an airdrop. And right here I'm in a bad situation. I got people behind me in front of me, so I decided to go for this sniper because he's the easiest target, you know. The guys behind me most likely aren't snipers, so they're probably going to kill me if I stay there long enough. So basically, just, I'm playing by sound right here with my headset. I'm, I got this, the Turtle Beach X41s on, so I'm, I'm trying to listen and see where they're at. Right there, you see I got a chopper gun, I'm using the shotguns, plus one. I still have an airdrop I haven't used, but, you know, I usually don't call them airdrop if I'm close to a chopper gunner, because it's going to draw a lot of the enemy team in, and they'll kill you if you do. And I didn't think I was going to get many people with this chopper gun on this map, because there's just a lot of places to hide, but here in just a second, I start picking them off. Chopper and gunner in ground war, a lot of times, not good to use because a lot of people carry missiles and there's a lot of people that kill you. So typically you'll get shot down pretty quick in ground war. That's why I use the AC 30. This drops the flares out at least a couple of times. You can see right there, I got shot down. If I would have been a little quicker, I would have seen those guys and took them all out though. This is how I always do my. Uh, emergency care packages. People say, oh, you know, I don't like to use these because people kill me off of them, you know. 
do it smart, drop your tactical insertion out. You know, and just if you get killed, you'll be able to spawn right there and kill them off of it. You know, it's not a big problem. And all these were shit except for one, which is a airstrike. And you can see, there they come. They see these packages, and they're they're pushing for them hard, even though they're all ammo. They can't tell that though until they get close to it. But I like using the emergency airdrop. Even I'll, I'll even use it on small map. I, I never get killed off mine, really. You know, I usually get what I want and I'm gone. You can use the other ones as bait to draw the other team in. You know. Sometimes you get shit, and sometimes you get a chopper gunner, and two predators, and a sentry gun. You know, it adds up to a lot of kills. It doesn't add up to your kill streak, but. No, I don't have any problem getting a chopper gun in anymore or anything like that past getting my my care package. These two guys, they get blasted from a mile away. I could have pulled my riot shield out of here and got close enough to that guy to kill him, but I, I really didn't want to use it. I thought I could sidestep right there and maybe get away from this shot, but I didn't. No, no, you know, that was a good game, you know, just move smart, you know, think ahead. Just watch where you're going, you know. It's not really just a strategic match, you know. I, you know, it's a shotgun match, but, you know, it's just all on how you move, and, you know, you got to pay attention to what's going on around you, and you can come out ahead, you know. That's 28-7, and 7, it's 4-1 to one kill to death, you know. So just play smart, and you'll come out ahead every time.